Mark, well, your feelings about that? Obviously, uh, obviously a great start there. And do you you finished the game well as well, but did you finish, feel like you created enough chances in between the, the start, the opening, and the end of the game? The last 15 minutes. Yeah, it was a, a funny game. Um, I'm disappointed. You know, I thought we were scrappy in the first half. You know, we went keeping the ball, we went clean with our passes, we were moving the ball quickly. We had a clear plan, particularly building up against them with a the back five. We weren't doing that. It took us a long time to do that. It was, you know, a, a direct pass in behind. We, we, we know that can, we can get them in that way as well, and that was good. But prior to that, you know, we, we were split open, and they had a one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. And that's just not us. So we, the discipline wasn't there. You know, we, we didn't play to the game plan. Um, although we were one nil up, you know, there was a lot of work to do. I wasn't happy at all, and, and I expressed that to them. Look, we had more of the ball than them. We had we had more shots on target than them. You know, all that sort of stuff. So if you want to look at the stats, but yeah, at, at home, um, it wasn't good enough, and it's not going to be good enough if we're going to continue to to be the team that we want to be. It was a kind of three and a half minute delay for that VAR over the offside. Was it? Is it just taking too long? And were you happy with the call in the end? Of course, of course I'm going to be happy with the call, but um, it does take a long time. Yeah, a very long time. You know, a, a colleague spoke about the stoppages last week, um, Carl, Carl Vitt, and we train to, to play a quick game. That's what we do. We want to play quick free kicks, quick, quick throw-ins. Our whole, our whole playing style is based around that. But... It is what it is. Obviously, they, there was more to it they saw in there, but uh, what can I say? You know, it's a, it's a process. We're, we're, we're quite used to it now. What do you do? you just got to get on and, and make sure that everyone's mentally switched on, you know, after breaks like that to, to, to get going again. But the other disallowed goal, were you aware of this new rule that um, the... Uh, yes. Tablet? Yes. Yeah, you are. Yeah. So you immediately it happened, you were... Yeah, play on. Yeah, I was waiting for the ball to... To be getting you know, taken by one of my players and quick play a quick free kick, free kick because they, they had a lot of bodies around the ball and we wanted to play quickly and I thought it was a great opportunity to play on the counter there. Yeah, this was from the floor. I've just want to give someone else. <laughs> Mark, just uh, what, what do you feel you need to work on most? I and mean, obviously your defence has been pretty tidy. One goal with the ball, yeah, 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 with the ball, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, we, we need to be cleaner. You know, you, you, there were pa patterns there that 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 we worked on that were great and we broke through them. We just have to be better, you know, cleaner, um, more aggressive with our passing, just move the ball quicker, you know, and, and be cleaner with our first touch. Our positioning's good. The timing of the, of the positionings and, and, and the runs and things like that, they're, they're there, but we're just not it's the first touch or, or receiving it with the right side of the foot or, you know, moving the ball a bit quicker and, and just getting it because we broke through them every single time when we worked on the things we worked on. We wanted to drag their wing backs into our full backs and, and then create combinations around the side. And every time we did that, we got through them and it was very, very good. Um, but there's, there's always a lot to work on. It's still very early in the season. It's, it's, a, it's a brand new team, a lot of players, but that's the main thing, you know, with the ball. that would be a, a, a key focus for us this week. Uh, excuse me, because I don't, I don't do the AI on a day-to-day -day basis. What's the situation with Bazanic? He hasn't played yet this year? Is yeah, he... he's, he's, he's injured at the moment. Yeah. yeah. Any ideas when he's lying to be back? Uh, you know, he's training, he's working hard. Um, we're hoping in the next two to three weeks. Yeah. And everybody yeah. pull up okay from today? I think so. <laughs> I hope so. I was, um, yeah, I lifted uh, the tone of my voice a little bit at half time. So, um, we, yeah, it's important that we get a reaction this week. We need to freshen them up. We, we didn't look sharp today as well, you know, so that's, as a coaching staff and we all need to get together and, and, and review, you know, why that was the case today. Um, it was a humid day, I get that. Um, probably the most humid that we've either trained or played in, you know, but that's no excuse. You know, we train them a certain way and condition them to be acclimatised for this kind of weather. And I told them, get used to it. In the Wild West, it's going to get warmer <laughs> and even more humid, so... You know, but we didn't we didn't lose. You know, but I do feel like it was two points dropped for us. I really do. What have you uh, seen from Brandon Barello in his first three games with the club? It seems his ability to to beat guys one on one has become really important and helps you guys kind of create some chances down that right hand side. You just answered it for me. Thank you. That's 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 what he does.
He's a great character around the place. He's, he's full of energy. He gives us a lot of energy in the attacking third as well. He works hard off the ball too. Fantastic character. Really good. You know, he's, he's really developed his game in Germany and that's what he does. You know, he doesn't, he's not one of those guys that went over there for one year and came back straight away. You know, he stayed there for a number of years and he's got that, that German mentality about him, you know. But he's a, a great kid and, and the intention and is, is for us to, to, to provide the service for him to get back into the Socceroos and, and back overseas where he belongs. But he, we need to refine a few things as well in him. You know, he's had a bit of um, a few little niggly injuries here and there while he was overseas the last couple of years, but we work hard on, on all our players to get their bodies right. Like Callum, Yingy, there's a lot of the, these guys who haven't had a lot of football in the last couple of years that we've worked really hard to get them back in the park and, and doing what they do best. Thank you. Thank you very much.